This is the only video you need to make four and a half gallons of 20% alcohol at home. Take notes. Get yourself a five gallon bucket. Fill the bucket with four and one half gallons of water. Mark the level of the water on the bucket itself. My bucket is transparent, so I mark it on the outside. If you have a bucket through which you cannot see the water level, mark the water by scratching or scoring the inside at the top of the four and one half gallon level. Now pour all of the water out. I like to sanitize all my equipment. I use Star San sanitizer. One half ounce of Star San for two and one half gallons of water. I sanitize all my equipment in this bucket. Then I sanitize the bucket. Star San has a tendency to make foam. Do not fear the foam. The foam will not affect the taste of your alcohol. Here is the secret recipe. If you want to do it really cheap, Get yourself a 25 pound bag of sugar. I got mine at Sam's Club, where it cost only 12 bucks. If you want to start small, just buy three five pound bags of sugar and expect to pay about 12 bucks. For this recipe, you want to use 12 pounds of sugar. 12 pounds. Put the sugar in the bucket. Next, you will add boiling water. I use my Dutch oven to boil six quarts of water at a time. Stir this solution until all the sugar is dissolved. It only takes about two minutes for it to turn to a golden liquid. Draw another pot of water. This time, make it cold water. Another six quarts of it. Add the cold water to the bucket. Take the temperature of the water. You want a temperature between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. At a little over 100 degrees here, we're in the zone. This is the turbo yeast you should use. It's called Alcotec 48. It's the number one turbo yeast on the market. You can pick this up on eBay. Search eBay for Alcotec 48. Any yeast will make alcohol, but this will make 20% alcohol. Baker's yeast, which is used to make bread, can produce between 4% to 8% alcohol. Brewer's yeast, which is used to make beer, can produce between 8% and 14% alcohol. That's why you should use turbo yeast. Turbo yeast can make alcohol between 14% and 20%.
measure out 92 grams of yeast, which is equivalent to 3 and 1 quarter ounces, Add this yeast to the bucket. Then stir the solution for one minute. Next, you're going to want six more quarts of water. But before drawing the water, adjust the temperature so it is between 100 and 110 degrees. You're not going to pour all of this into the bucket. Just fill the bucket up to where you marked it. This is the top of the bucket. Fermentation will produce carbon dioxide. This is the hole where the carbon dioxide gas will escape. This is an airlock. For some fermentations, you want to use an airlock. You do not use an airlock for this project, but you do want to cover the hole. Take a clean cloth and a rubber band and cover the hole. Now cover the bucket. Just put this in a room that stays warm. In the winter, I like to use a heat belt. You can find a heat belt any place that sells beer making supplies or wine making supplies. That's what I did, and I paid $30 for this one. Ouch. I am sure you can find cheaper heat belts on eBay. In the beginning, you want to listen for the sound of fermentation. There is no sound at first. This is normal. Don't worry. Come back one hour later. Now you have to wait five days. It may be less than five days. It may be more, especially during the cold season. Listen to your brew. When the fermentation stops completely, when you hear very little noise, when you see very few bubbles rising, and when you can see the alcohol is beginning to clear, then it's time to rack your wine. Because, technically speaking, this is sugar wine. My favorite container is a large glass jalapeno jar. Each one of these will hold a half gallon. This project will yield several gallons of product, so get ready with clean containers. Eight days later, it is time to siphon the wine. When the level of the liquid in the bucket gets low enough, you can pour directly from the bucket. But pour slowly, the bottom of the bucket has collected dead yeast. Here's a half gallon container with two quarts of wine. One quart, or half of this, will get you very, very drunk, so be careful. Also, it tastes a little bit like yeast. 
How do you solve both problems? Make mixed drinks. Let's go viral. <laughs> okay, I have to go to bed now. <laughs>